Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss another use case in model driven app, how to use formula column. Let's say the use case is like I have a loan entity and in this loan entity, I have two columns. One is the amount and another is the tenure in month. I want to have another field to store the total amount to be paid in this total tenure in months. The, the total, uh, total uh, amount um, per month is 500 and tenure in months is 200. Then how much amount should be paid? So I want to create a field here. Let's say, let me go to the solution and create a new column and I will take total amount to be paid. Now this total amount to be paid should be actually a calculation, right? So you can take formula as a column type and write down the formula amount and multiplied with the tenure in month. Now when you combine this, it will give you the exact information by combining this both. Direct use of current spill is not your support to use decimal. And here, because it is a decimal, it is a currency field. So here you can use a power fx called as decimal to convert the value to decimal. And here you can keep it in bracket. And now it is done. So click on save. And uh, save it. So if this is not, um, not working, then you can go for um, calculator field. In previously, we used calculator field uh, concept. But right now, because of the use of formula column, you can achieve this without a calculated column configuration. So save it and let me go to the form and uh, add that field on the form to check if it is working fine or not. So I'll go to here and filter this by custom field and click on this total amount to be paid. And that value will be that field will be available here on the screen. Now click on save and publish. Now once it is done, once the publishing is done, we can refresh the screen on the app so that we can test it, right? So let me go to here and refresh the screen. Still publishing, it will take some couple of seconds only. Now I will go here and try to refresh the screen. When I am refreshing the screen, you will see that the total amount paid is automatically calculated by combination of by multiplying 500 with 200 tenure and it is showing this one. You see guys, so how interestingly it is done and also if you check the database, surprisingly you will get the information. So let me go to the SBA loan and here I will go to the data and try to uh, add the column called as total amount sorry here I can add the column in the list and if you scroll down or scroll right you see all the uh, uh, records value is updated because of this formula column right so that's how the formula column works you can use uh, power fx uh, to use it and uh, if you have uh, you want to use uh, different uh, power effects also you can check Microsoft website uh, to uh, to get to know what are the supported power effects and uh, you can use that right in this website you will get to know that what are the uh, power effects which is supported till now all the power effects is not supported till now but these are the uh, power effects that you can use uh, while writing uh, power effects for formula column. We have used decimal field, right? We have used decimal function um, for converting uh, the currency to decimal, right? So in our example. 
So you can try and let me know if you have any question. Thanks everyone. Bye.